Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out another review. Uh, tonight's review is going to be about a company out of Wales. I've already done two videos on. Uh, we're going to finish out the series tonight. Uh, the company is called Infernal Beard Company. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, uh, thanks for coming back to the channel and checking it out. Hope you're enjoying the content. Um, I'm starting to, to lag a little bit in my production of videos. I know you guys are used to me like uh, just pounding out videos every, every day to every other day. Uh, I'm actually getting caught up uh, for a change. Uh, that's why I haven't shot my butter video yet. Uh, so it's just kind of a change of pace for me. So now I can just you know go at a steady pace now. I don't have to rush things. Uh, but I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, as I said, thank you for coming back to the channel and all your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, tonight we're going to go over the third and final video of Infernal Beard Company. This company is out of Wales. Uh, all natural essential oils, pure 100% essential oils uh, is what they use. Uh, the only carrier oil they have in their oils is sweet almond oil. Uh, if you watched the first two videos, uh, which I'll link down in the description box, uh, you'll know these oils work absolutely amazing in my beard. If you follow me also, uh, you'll know that sometimes when I get companies that use uh, strictly essential oils, uh, it works in my beard, but it won't get my beard as soft uh, as fragrance oil does. And that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, either way, it makes my beard feel good, soft, uh, but just the difference is it's, it don't get as soft. However, uh, these products, uh, I've been using them off and on for the last month, actually probably the last two months. The owners went ahead and sent me their last three oils uh, to go over with you guys. Uh, I'm going to try to get, work on uh, getting some balms shipped over here because they do make balms. Uh, so that I think that would be awesome for you guys as well. Uh, so tonight we're going to go over uh, three of the final beard oils that they sent. Before we get any further into the review though, if you could, uh, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you stick with me throughout the video and you enjoyed the video and you got something from it, please hit that like button. Uh, I appreciate all the support. When you order from Infernal Beard Company, uh, you get one of these giant postcards, which I really like the design, uh, and on the back, a note. It says, Hi Patrick, thanks so much uh, for your amazing reviews. Here's uh, the names of the, the oils. Uh, enjoy Infernal Beard Company. First one we will go over. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you guys, if you haven't watched the first two and uh, don't know this company, uh, this is their boxes. I mean, look how cool those boxes are. They got all the information. It's got their name on the sides. I apologize for the the light. It's reflecting off of that. Uh, just really awesome boxes. But the best part is, it's like their own nook. It's got your nice beard oil resting right down in the box. Uh, but what I did do for you guys in this review, uh, since you guys can't really see the labels on these, I went ahead and took steel pictures, uh, and I'll put this first one right here so you guys can get a look at it pretty awesome labels uh, the first one uh, happens to be probably my personal favorite out of the collection uh, and it's called Dracula or as they would say over there Dracula and I know you guys can't really see these labels uh, this camera doesn't do these labels any justice really awesome labels the ingredients like I said uh, in the beginning is just sweet almond oil uh, it's 99%, I had to write this down because I thought it was awesome, uh, it's 99% sweet almond oil and 1% of dragon's blood. Uh, this one I get a, uh, a woodsy with a little bit of soft floral and at the end uh, a nice hint of sweetness. It's, it's kind of a complex scent uh, but it smells absolutely fantastic. Uh, another thing I noticed with these dropper tops, uh, as opposed to the other ones they sent me, these ones have the small tips on them. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
and you can kind of control the drops. And as you guys noticed, this oil is crystal clear. And like I said, uh, right up on the bottle open, you get that woodsy scent. A little bit of floral to go with that. And at the end, it's got that sweetness to it. Just a really, really uh, good smelling oil. It's on the thinner side uh, of oils, but uh, like I said, it works great in beard. Uh, it's got their name on the side right there. I don't know if you guys could see that. Uh, longevity of this one particularly, I think I got about five and a half hours. Uh, the longevity of this one wasn't the greatest, but uh, I definitely enjoy adding another coat uh, on my beard of this one. This one was really good, and that was Dracula, or as they would say over there, Dracula. Uh, moving right along to the next one, uh, this next one's called Morning Star, uh, and again, same box, so it's a little nook in there. Uh, and this one is another nice uh, scent. Uh, I got my cheat sheet right here. Uh, it's called Morning Star. It's got mandarin, lavender, neroli, chive, and benzoin in it. And I, the scent I get with this one is a sweet, earthy type scent. Uh, it's not too harsh on the sweetness. You can smell the earthiness to it. And it smells really nice as well. And it, like Again super super clear oils and I really like that little uh, teardrop on the ends of those it, you can control your drops and that one was morning star I almost forgot again uh, since you guys can't really see this I'll put a still shot right here to kind of match up with the frame look how awesome that is uh, and that was morning star uh, and last and certainly not least this next one uh, is called King Solomon. Again, nice little nook. I, I really like that. Uh, and again, I'll put a still shot right here. This one's a little bit brighter. Uh, so you guys could probably see that a little bit better. I see this is having a hard time focusing. Uh, and again, cheat sheet here. Uh, this one has myrrh, frankincense, Benzoin, patchouli, and sandalwood. Uh, and this, I get a nice smoky slash uh, spicy scent uh, out of it. Uh, and on the bottle open, you get that little bit of spice mixed with that smokiness. This one was probably my least favorite. But all in all, in all I did like all three of them. Uh, and again, super super clear i know i keep saying that guys but this i think this is probably the clearest oil i've i've seen uh this reminds me uh if you would go to church uh and you sm and you smell that uh kind of like not an incense uh but a little bit of the patchouli uh maybe even with a little bit of oud it's it, i get like a tad of oud even though there is none in there uh it smells really good it smells really good just add a little bit of that smokiness, uh, and you got the King Solomon. That's that's just my personal take on it. Really good products. Uh, like I said, I've been using these off and on for the last two months. I would say at least the last two months. Uh, they've done nothing for my beard but you know make it soft, smell good, longevity of them. Uh, on most of them, about six six and a half hours. A couple of them. You know, it's uh, maybe five and a half, five hours, something like that. All coated my beard well. These oils are really good. Uh, put it in my beard. Uh, they made my beard soft, as I said. Smells good. Uh, I don't think there's one of them that I didn't like. Uh, there's a few of them that uh, weren't exactly my favorite, but I did enjoy using them. I feel one beard, like I said, it's really good. The oils are on the thinner side, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I, I really, really did enjoy using Infernal Beard Company's uh, oils. Hopefully I'll get you guys up some uh, bomb reviews uh, from this company uh, sooner or later. Uh, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to the owners at Infernal Beard for uh, sending all these oils, uh, especially across the pond. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Everything will be linked uh, in the description below. Thank you guys for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. 
Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you got a little bit of information out of this, make sure you hit that thumbs up. As you can hear, as you can hear, I'm I'm kind of losing my voice right now, but uh, it's all good. The show must go on. Uh, thanks, guys. I uh, appreciate it. And until the next video, peace.